Hi everyone, my name is Monica Levin. Thank you for joining me for the Daily Dose of Love. I really appreciate that you're here with me as we um, intensify the love that we are so that we can make that love available for everyone on the planet in case it's their time to awaken and join us in our desire for a peaceful, loving planet and interactions and community and everything. I've been teaching people how to communicate with and follow their inner guidance for more than 20 years now. And I wrote the book, The Body Soul Bridge, which teaches the techniques that I use with my clients. And it's available worldwide through Amazon, amazon.uk, .co, or whatever they are, worldwide. And if you live in the United States and you want to order from my website, bodysoulbridge.com, I will sign, sign the book before I mail it to you. Please like and share this video so that we can join with others around the world. And I see that we have a lot of people here tonight, all these loving souls that we come together from different parts of the planet to meditate and then receive instructions for the next 24 hours as I pull cards. Let's start with reviewing the cards from yesterday. So I'm gonna read what they said. And then if you feel moved to comment in the comment area of Facebook, on the Facebook chat, please feel free to. So yesterday's messages were twofold. The first one was, as you have the courage to brave the seas of anger, rage, and fear, forgive yourself and others and be gentle with yourself. It takes time to release the past. And then the other message was, as you forgive and you move past anger, fear, and rage, share the light that you are. Imagine that you are shining your inner light through the fog and emerge into your spiritual self. You know, I kind of forgot about that message. It was only last night until I woke up this morning and I tend to get this like really dry skin here when I'm not forgiving with myself. <laughs> And it had been gone and I was so proud of myself. Ah, oh, look at me. I'm so great. All my skin is, is looking good. And then I woke up today and it was red and irritated. And I thought, oh, there's more. And so I meditated, got a message that I was still angry about something and someone. And so I did some releasing on it. And within a few hours, my skin got a lot better. And here we are. <laughs> When I revisited what it said, I thought, oh my goodness, that's exactly what the cards had said last night, warning me that this might happen and giving me the solution of what to do about it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the initial cleansing, and then as usual, we're gonna count down to go deep into the meditation. And then we're gonna release whatever residuals we have of whatever situation comes to your mind for you. I'm just gonna call it the situation whatever situation you have in mind that you still have some anger about or rage about or self-judgment about so that we can let go of that and be gentle with ourselves and love ourselves and move forward. And then we will count our way back up and out of the meditation and then pull two cards from this deck tonight, which is healing with the angels. Okay, just check to see who's here. If you have not already done so, please like the video. And then write your name in there so that I know that you're here. And later on, when I write down um, a summary of the cards that we choose tonight, you should get a notification that it's that I created a comment on the, under this video. Especially if you like and you write something in the comments, you should get a notification on your Facebook notifications. Okay, that's enough talking, Monica. <laughs> Let's move forward. And if you feel like sharing the situation, if you want, that you find that you still have anger and rage and self-judgment about, feel free to. And Michelle is here too. Thank you for joining us. Okay, we have all these lovely, powerful light workers here tonight. So step one, let's clean our energy field with our hands. We will wipe the energy field off down in front. Move that out of the way. 
then up over your head, down the back of your neck and your shoulders and your arms. And then again, down in front, up over your head, down the back of your neck and your shoulders and your arms. And now I'm gonna have you close your eyes and relax and breathe easily in and out through your nose and allow your, while you allow your abdomen to expand and contract with your breath. Because if you're breathing down into your belly, what you are doing is signaling that it's safe to relax, signaling, telling your body it's safe to relax. If you breathe up in the top of your chest, then you tell your body that you're stressed and your body is on high alert. We don't want that. We want you to relax. We want to relax here. We're letting go of things that don't serve us. So you're breathing in and out through your nose, allowing your belly to expand and contract. And with each inhalation, you inhale white light in through the top of your head and in through the, through the bottom of your feet to your heart. And every time you exhale, you exhale any darkness that you feel, see, sense, or know is inside of you. Out through the top of your head and out through the bottom of your feet. And you continue to take relaxed breaths, knowing that the white light that you inhale represents joy and love and peace and appreciation. And the darkness that you are exhaling represents any fear or anger or residual energies from mass consciousness that might have been in your energy field over the day. You continue to inhale white light. And with each exhalation, you notice that the darkness gets lighter and lighter and lighter. And with intention, in the next two breaths, exhale all remaining darkness. And now you increase the light that you are by inhaling and exhaling white light. And you get brighter and brighter and brighter. And as we do every night, we want to have our energy field clear. And I ask you to do this several times throughout the day. Make sure your energy field is cleansed and compacted and protected. So let's do that now. I'd like you to surround yourself with a cylinder of steel that has no top and no bottom so that the white light still enters from the top and enters from the bottom. And this cylinder of steel is here to protect your energy field. You have complete and total control over this cylinder of steel. So I'd like you to make it large enough that you can still spread your arms, jump around, somersault, dance, do anything you want in your column of white light, and it does not restrict your movement in any way. And you decide how thick you want this cylinder of steel. Maybe when you're home, it can be microscopically thin, so thin that it's transparent. And when you're out at a store, or in a, at a gathering where there's several people that are full of fear, <laughs> you might wanna make it an inch thick, a foot thick, a yard thick, whatever makes you feel comfortable. So we cleansed our energy fields and protected them. And now I invite you to follow me deeper into this meditation as I count down from five to one. And when I reach the number one, You'll be completely relaxed and open to the words that I speak on your behalf. Five, you are willing to let go of anger, rage, and fear from the past. 
four. Your breathing slows and you go deeper into the experience. Three, the white light that you are, the love that you are, intensifies with every breath. Two, you become more and more relaxed and open. And one, you are now completely open to the words that I speak on your behalf. I am safe. I have the power to heal myself. I relax knowing that I am always supported and I always have more than enough. I find things to appreciate in every situation and in every experience. All of my cells are in harmony and my body is healthy and strong. All is well in my world. All anger and rage associated with my situation that comes to mind in this moment is completely released and is replaced with self-love. And so I ask infinite becoming, whether you call it God, angels, guides, spirit, infinite becoming, locate and remove all of the blocks or impediments to the statement that all anger and rage associated with my situation is completely released and replaced with self-love. Locate and remove all the blocks and impediments to the statement from my body, my unconscious mind, and my energy field. In this lifetime and all lifetimes, in all directions of time and space, and so it is. Thank you, Infinite Becoming. And now I relax knowing that God, angels, infinite becoming is taking care of this for me. I breathe easily. And I wait while it is completed on my behalf. I am safe. I am peace, I am grateful, and I am love. Now I will count from one to 10, and when I reach the number 10, I will make a sound with my fingers, and you will open your eyes, feel better than before, better than ever, and you will feel safe, calm, and alert. One, you step into your future with confidence. Two, you are safe. Three, everything is as it is supposed to be. Four, you feel appreciation for everyone and everything. Five, your body feels great. Six, you are safe. And when I get to the number 10, I will make a noise with my fingers and you will open your eyes, feeling better than before, better than ever, and you will feel safe, calm, and alert. Seven, you are love and peace. Eight, you feel the chair against your legs and against your back. Nine, you wiggle your fingers and your toes. And 10, your eyes open and you feel better than before, better than ever, and you feel safe, calm, and alert. Welcome back. Anyone that's joining us right now, please like and share this video. I really appreciate that all of you are here. My name is Monica Levin, and I am an intuition trainer and coach. I teach people how to communicate with their inner guidance so they can get information about everything in their lives, whether it's about their work, relationships, 
health or the house that they buy. This house here, my, my guidance told me where to find it. It was the only house I looked at. And this is the one that I purchased here in Michigan. And if anybody wants my book, The Body Soul Bridge, it's available on Amazon worldwide. And if you live in the United States, you can go to bodysoulbridge.com, purchase it there, and I will send you a book with, uh, that I've signed, signed copy. And let's see if there are any comments over here in the chat. Okay. So now we're gonna pull a couple of cards for the next 24 hours and let's see what our messages are. If you like this video and if you put your name in the chat, then when I transcribe the card meanings to the Facebook Live, you, will, you should receive a notification and then you can come and be reminded of what the message was. So one card, let me close my eyes, hold on. Ah, the second card, okay. The first card is Serenity. And now I'm going to look at the interpretive guide and I'm going to read the sentences that I'm guided to read to you. Serenity. This is where I practice my alphabet every day because <laughs> it's always in alphabetical order. Okay, RS, Serenity. Here we go. Hmm. Let's see. Peace of mind means feeling secure and knowing that you're always provided for. Even if your logical mind cannot fathom how a challenge could be resolved, peace of mind means that you trust that God will create a miraculous solution. This sort of faith is always warranted because faith is a key component in, experience, in experiencing such miracles. You, uh, by drawing this card, the angels reassure you that peace of mind is within you. You can feel serene even in the midst of great turmoil. Good message for us. You can feel serene even in the midst of great turmoil. It's a mistake to think that you have to wait until your life is problem free before you can feel happy and peaceful. The opposite is actually true. Another reason why we gather here tonight is that we can claim our serenity and claim our loves, that we can create that as a manifestation in our worlds. First you work towards serenity and then your life challenges lessen and disappear. Serenity is your natural state of mind and the angels are now working with you to actualize this. I love that. Hey, and the other card is enchantment. Same deck. Enchantment. And the words that I'm guided to read to you here are, hmm, hold on. Recapture your childlike sense of wonder and awe and view the world as a magical place. Because when you are joyful, your divine light inspires everyone who sees you. Isn't that nice? So we're claiming our serenity and shining the white light that we are, our divine light, so that we can help transform the world, all of us together. So thank you for being here. Tonight we're gonna to meet again at 6.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And now we're gonna do what we always do, which is create a ball of light between our hands, rub your hands together. Then put your hands apart and pull them in until you feel a pressure or a cloud or tingling on the palms of your hands. And imagine that you're holding a golden ball of light or a white ball of light, whichever one you prefer. They both symbolize light, love, peace, divinity. And then as you move your hands in little circles, kind of like this, <laughs> it will intensify it. And the ball of light gets larger and larger 
And the more you feel it, the stronger the feeling gets. And the stronger the feeling gets, the more you notice it. So it's this lovely um, catch-22. <laughs> you intensify it, you feel it more, it intensifies, you feel it more, and it just gets larger and larger. And it expands at an exponential rate. This ball of golden or white light now encompasses your whole body. It's through your body and around your body, and it expands to fill the room that you're in, then the building that you're in, ah, the property that you're on, feels good, <laughs> the region that you live in, expands even more to the country that you're in, and all of our energies join throughout the world and we envelop and permeate the whole planet, making this white light, the love and peace that we are available to everyone on the planet, everything on the planet, every being on the planet. If it's their time to awaken, it is accessible to them. And then this white light, this golden light expands even farther off into infinity, off into the universe. And we share the love that we are. And now just keep playing with the energy between your hands. And I'll let it play for another minute or so. And then I'll end our daily dose of love. And I hope to see you here tomorrow night at 6.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you.